Underlying the stark divisions in migrant policy across the European Union. A heated exchange. Yannis Lagos, a far-right Greek member of the European Parliament, accused the migrants and refugees in Moria of being rapists and a threat to Europe. This drew a sharp response. But this speaker and the previous speaker is amounting, what they are saying is amounting to hate speech, to call you know, migrants, to uh, accuse them of rape and to accuse them of uh, Islamists putting fire on the camp. It is hate speech. I think that should not be allowed in this way in this chamber. In the face of criticisms, the EU Commission says they are dealing with all the humanitarian challenges as best they can. Our immediate focus right now is to provide food and shelter and to prevent suffering and to support the Greek authorities to this end. Reportedly, the support of food and water has been secured. Others in the chamber claim that the Moria fire was less a failure of EU policy, but more a deliberate anti-migration strategy of the bloc. I would not want to improve the camps. We have to abolish camps. This is Europe. We don't keep people in camps. How can we, with moral authority, judge, criticize the United States, where Trump is building a wall separating children from their parents, even forced sterilization of women? If we let people drown, if we let them starve, if we let them live in the streets without even water, food, and medicine, can we look ourselves in the eyes? In a food, water, I think this is some sort of shelter. An attempt to bring the voice of the camps into the debate was intercepted. Plain audio recordings are not allowed. A German MEP paraphrased for the full house. So he said, if you think that the refugees are not suffering here, please, come, please see if you can come here with your own families, with your beloved ones. Cross the sea with a rubber boat and try to see if you can sleep on the ground with your beloved ones. Try it without having enough food, water or some sort of shelter. While difficult discussions continue in Brussels, it remains unclear how the EU will manage the humanitarian disaster that dates back to 2015. Next week, the European Commission is expected to present a long-delayed plan to overhaul EU migration and asylum policy, a policy that the refugees of Moria now need more than ever. Mehmet Solmas, TRT World.